Hey all Silver Plains here, and today we're playing Super Mario Maker 2, and we are going to check out some more Team Shell levels, because I love Team Shell. It's a good time. Let's jump into it. Coming in first, we've got Alterland, The Conclusion, by Phoenix NL. It is a collab between him and Glentastic. So this level came out recently, uh, yesterday, the 16th. First section up is Glenn's, starting things off with a Wiggler double, very fun setup there. And then a reclaim into a spring midair. Watch for the Potaboo, aka Lava Bubble. Okay, now hold on. I feel like I need the positioning to be different here. Yeah, that works. Are we in there? We are, we're moving on to checkpoint one. I think this is the only checkpoint in the level. That first section was really good, let's see how this one is. Phoenix put together a nice section here. There's uh, some familiar tricks, but the creative spin put on them. Even with that like shell surf and how it's dropping a spring and a muncher and stuff. Anyway, can I up throw clam? I can up throw clam. Well, that's good. I wasn't sure if I could do that trick anymore. Alright, and no, we are on to another checkpoint. I wasn't sure if this was 2CP or 1CP. I couldn't remember. Okay, this section is a little bit stretched in the delayed drop to the Yoshi. Like, even there, I barely just made that. Barely made that. Um, oh my god, what is this? Now we're doing a midair spring? Thank god I did it. No nice. Um, that was a tough level. Very fun level. Uh, hats off to Phoenix for clear checking that beast. All those sections alone and doing a straight shot would be quite difficult. Uh, one of the hardest parts for me was hitting the delayed drop and actually reaching the Yoshi. I could hit the delayed drop just fine, but getting enough distance to reach the Yoshi was insanely difficult. So it took a trick that's not that hard and made it super hard. Uh, all that being said, it was an excellent level. The first and last sections were by Glenn, and the middle section was by Phoenix. But anyway, let's move on to another one. Next up is Woodland Woofit TS. Welcome to the No Put Foot Forest, dedicated to Pipe Ranch 40k. Team Shell. Roger Volo with the uh, only clear, and this has a 100% clear. Sh uh, yeah, clear rate because he one shot it. So that's cool. All right, not too bad. I like it. I did play test this as well. Roger may have also play tested it. So yeah, I don't expect it to take very much time. There, I got that up throw bonk. Okay, and then we're doing a double. Oops. <laughs> That's my bad. Dang it, man. Whoa, hold on. My face looked weird. I just looked at my face on the screen. Why does it look weird? Is one of my eyes completely messed up? Oh yeah, I look wrecked. It's because it's a forest theme level, I think. Oh my gosh. So the green, the green from the forest theme must be reflecting off my eyes. I, I looked over there and I felt like a zombie or something. So yeah, I'm not going to one shot this like Roger did, although funny enough, I did one shot one of the playtest versions of this level earlier. Okay. Anyway, here we go. That part feels really cool. I like the momentum that you need to hit that Z-Surf from the Mecha Koopa. 
And there we go. There we have it. So, not really a one-shot, more like a three-shot, but still, who can be a legend like Roger? Not me, not yet, anyway. Um, and yeah, hopefully my face doesn't look too crazy during that playthrough. I don't know, the green screen was really interfering with my eyes and stuff. Let's move on. Great level, Glenn. Okay, let's give this level a shot. I can't pronounce the name of it, but it's by Z Chen. Apparently he's from America. I somehow doubt that. That flag is very misleading, Z Chen. Are you sure you know where you're from? went to the uh, Team Shell website the other day and wrote down a list of levels that I'd like to play that I haven't played yet. This was one of them. And, you know, it's pretty standard. I do like that double drop a lot. Pretty standard, though. Reclaim at the end there with the Koopa control isn't too bad. Um, overall the level was mildly frustrating, but still fun. I think the frustration came from the fact that it took me a little while to beat, even though it's so easy. Um, but yeah, overall, not too bad. Let's move on. Alright, let's try Drop the Shell 2 by Dice23. Apparently it's easier than Drop the Shell. No. Why, yes. Pistol asked if he could come hang out. That's fine. He might be making some noise. Don't boop that microphone too hard, buddy. Yeah, you're my good boy. Okay. That... Is that all? You just came to boop me a couple times and that's it? That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you, Pistol. Alright, let's bust this level out real quick. We can do that, right? I can. I can do that. If you believe in yourself, it will be so. Don't ever sit there and tell yourself you can't, you can't, you can't. Just keep saying you can, and eventually you will. Just believe. That's all. I liked it. Fun level. Let's try another one. Okay, last but certainly not least is Spooky Chips and Kaizo Mole by Waffle2000. One checkpoint, chow down on my favorite trick, Silly Rabbit, Team Shell. Interesting story about this level is it's one that I attempted a long time ago. You can see the white flag on there. And it has bothered me so much. I was like, what is that level? I knew it was a ghost house theme and I knew it was a 2.0 in Team Shell. And I'm sure I can beat it now. But when I first tried it, like many levels that I jump into, I didn't clear it. And yeah, I am ready to beat this level though, finally. Once and for all. I don't really remember why I quit. I think it's uh, it had an up throw bonk that was a little bit difficult for me at the time or something, but we're just gonna bust this out. Starting off with a shell drop, a trick that we have done in a lot of levels today. It was the first trick in that last level too. I didn't plan that by any means. And I don't remember this level very well, I just remember that it's a white flag I needed to clear. I love finding levels that I have given up on in the past and clearing them. I did that with a different level today called Weed Killer. I posted that one to my X account, aka Twitter. Oh, please. Okay. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and now we are on to the checkpoint, the dreaded part that I apparently gave up on in the past. Okay. 
Yo, all right. Wow, it was that easy. Very nice. Once I got to the spinning on the uh, spinies part, I just one shot everything. Um, the falling platform down to hit the P switch that did take one attempt because it was a little bit blind, but that's okay. Loved that level, and I'm so glad it's not gonna haunt me anymore. I've actually found it and cleared it. I enjoy so much finding white flags on levels and then getting my revenge and clearing them. Anyway, I'm gonna head out now. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you like, comment, subscribe, that's great. That means a lot to me. Don't feel obligated to by any means. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm actually pretty stoked because I'm at 1,025 subscribers. That's the most I've ever had. When I first started my channel back up, I was at 1,022, and it kept going up to like 1023, and then back down, and up, and down, and I finally broke through past 1024, so that made me super happy, uh, and I'm just glad that you're all enjoying the content, you know, for those who are watching and stuff, so anyway, much love, good vibes, I'll see y'all next time, have a great one.